What's annoyed me a little bit, I mean, Simon Jordan's a really respected presenter on this show. And it's like, you know, it's like, Simon, you know, 50 games in a season, you know, at this level, you know, it's okay sitting nice and cosy in the director's box, isn't it? <laughs> you know, with your shades on. He's going to love it, this. And, and you look at it and you think, well, okay, we're another four games. A lot about dementia, Jim. That's another 50 balls to header. True, no, true. You know, it's like all of these things, they look easy, don't they? Sat in the comfort of the boardroom, but they're not. You, mm. you want to be 100%. You've got to prepare for every game. For every game you play, you really do need four or five days build up professionally, you know, eating the right foods, the right stretch. The, it's all so professional now. It's, de it's demanding. Mentally, it's demanding. Okay, people say, oh, well, yeah, pay me 200 grand a week. That's great. But they're not really looking at, once you, what's the difference between 200 grand and 300 grand, really? Uh, does it does it make a difference? You, th those Man City players at the moment are trying to win major trophies. And they're looking at it and thinking, God, that's a shopping list of games I've got to get through. Mm. I'm not really up for that. Can we look, at least come to the table to discuss it? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I think we should respect that. And if we're at a time now where we're going to respect the fans, we're going to respect all the key stakeholders, it's time to listen to the players. Jason in Birmingham, Martin Keown saying the public won't understand his lack of respect. Simon Jordan here is bang on. Players and their agents continually push for more and more. But they start bleating pay, when players are asked to do more. No, so own, good ownership is actually running a tight ship, isn't it, and paying what you can afford. Could you have negotiated a contract for yourself with Simon? I think we would have uh, been at loggerheads. Because if I instantly walk into the room and realise there's a disrespect and a disregard for players just because they're brash and you know we, everyone's treated the same. I, if he treated me slightly differently, I mean, it might have been different for him to see a player walk in on his own. Um, but I've been looking for the best deal possible for myself, as everybody else would. But within the confines of the, the, the wage constraints of that club, I would never have pushed beyond that.